Hi, welcome to the first episode of FRC Robotics 101. I'm Tang, and we're from FRC Team 6520, Green Amps Robotics Team. This series, as follows, will be dedicated to the process of making a competitive robot based on our experience in the FRC. So, this series will be geared toward people, the people who want to set up a new FRC team or just new members who want to know what's ahead of them. If you are a student, who is related to a non-first project, you are also welcome as this can serve as a general skeleton to whatever creative process you're doing. In this first episode, we're just going to go through what is first, how to organize your FRC team, and we're going to go in depth about two specific departments, the mechanics department and the cat department. So let's first talk about first. FIRST stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. FIRST is an international organization that organized many different robotics competition. Their biggest competition being the FRC, that is a robotics competition for high school students. For younger audiences, they have the FIRST LEGO League Junior, the FIRST LEGO League, and the FIRST Tech Challenge. Just recently, they started the FIRST Global, which is a competition for representatives from all over the world to compete in a competition that is smaller scale than the FRC. Now let's go in depth about the FRC. The FRC is the largest annual robotics competition for high school students. It provides high school students with hands-on experience about many different technical skills like uh, programming, mechanics, catting, and many more. You also get the experience of management, managing a huge team. An FRC season will consist of three main parts. First is the off season, that is the preparation and research, and basically everything that you need to do to train new members, to, do, to prepare for your robot, anything that is before your actual season. Then when you're give, given the game manual, on the 5th of January, then it will be the build season. The build season is the part where every members on the team have to work intensively to build the best robot they can and compete for many different, uh, many different awards. And lastly, you have the actual game. The actual game is like its name when you go to the actual competition and compete. There are two main rounds, the regionals, and if you win the regionals or get enough awards, you can go to the championships. Each one of those will consist of a qualification round and then a playoff. Now let's get into how to actually organize your FRC team. An FRC team will consist of many different departments from business to outreach to mechanics and electronics and also many more. Teams need to be separated into different departments to work as efficiently as possible and also because one member can't learn all of the skills needed for every department. As a team grows, departments will be divided even more. For example, the programming department can be divided into pathfinding department and then vision department. You can, do, you can also do the same for many other departments. For now, we can just go in depth about two specific departments as we said before, the mechanics department and the cat department. So first, let's talk about the mechanics department. The mechanic department is the department that has everything to do with building the robot and constructing the field. Their, job, their work is evident in many different places. Anywhere you look on the robot, that is their work. They're responsible for building the robot, building the game field, reparation, maintenance, and things like testing and tweaking the numbers. Basically, if you want something done, most likely it will be their work. Then you also have the CAD department. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. The job of this department is to build the 3D and 2D model of whatever you're going to build for your final product. This 3D model is very useful in that if you change one number, the results is show immediately. You don't have to spend a lot of time modifying your parts. 
before seeing the result. Also, it is useful for calculations and just to visualize things. And your CAD file is necessary if you want to do CNC. Next, since most people are familiar with things like mechanics or programming, but not as much with computer-aided design, I just want to go through some programs that are often used when you're doing the FRC. So for the FRC, the most common CADing program is going to be SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS is a CADing program that is very robust. Normally, it would cost quite a bit to get yourself a version of SOLIDWORKS, but because SOLIDWORKS sponsors the FRC, each team will get 50 versions of SOLIDWORKS each year. So that's why it is the most common for students doing the FRC. But if you're just starting out or not related to any FRC team, you might consider using Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is a CADing program that is cloud-based, which makes it very light. So it's the perfect thing when you're just starting out. While it is not as robust, you can still do most of your tasks on Fusion 360. So it is the perfect one for new members. Then you can, we can move on to Onshape. Onshape is a web-based CADing program. Being web-based means that you can access it from basically anywhere. You don't need your computer. You can even access it on your phone. But being web-based also means that if your Wi-Fi connection is bad, you basically can't do anything with it. So mostly people just use it for transferring files or for viewing things when they don't have the computers. Another program that people often have on the computer is Cura. Cura is not really a CADing program, but it is very useful if you're 3D printing anything. It is a, it is a program for configuring your CAD file to the version that you need for 3D printing. You can change the thickness of the layers, you can change the infill, you can basically configure all of the things you need with Cura. So those are the things that you would normally need for CADing. Now, lastly, I just want to talk a bit about the series as a whole. This series will be starting from A to Z of the process of building an actual robot. We're going to start from the very beginning and end up with a robot like this one. Most of the examples are going to be based on the 2020 FRC game. For those of you who don't remember what the game is like, basically you need to pick up up to five of these balls right here called the power cells and then either shoot it to a hole that is three meters high or just deposit it into a slit that is just only around one meter high. Then you also need to spin a disc to a specific color and finally you need to climb a bar. That's basically the 2020 game. So that's it for the first episode. In this episode, we've talked about the FRC and first as a whole. Then we've talked about uh, two specific departments, the mechanics department and the, cut and the CAD department. In the next two episodes, we're going to talk about the pre-brainstorm process, the process of preparation and research that is done before your actual competition. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and listening. See you next time.